from the Peach State we're just about set for evening baseball from Truist Park tonight the second of four between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves we've got baseball on the show. So now into the box is Kevin Newman and we are set for baseball here pitch. this evening the second base ready to deliver Kevin here comes the first pitch Newman. Freeman might try to make a play on it first pitch. 720. A bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. And that'll bring up Eric Gonzalez. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Lifted in the air to center. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. Batting third. Two the down, third no one on base. 14. And up next is Key Brian Hayes. Hayes. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled the strike. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Ozuna is there, and they breeze through this half inning. Lady go for the Braves. The now here's the baseman. first offering. Ozzie. Ozzie Albies is in to Albies. start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. Two and one to count. All even now, two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way that behind him when the swing That's came through stop. the zone. I have Yo to think he was looking for something off Camargo. speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Johan Camargo checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting third. The Here's the first baseman, baseman Freddie Freeman, Freddie. He comes off an 0 for 4 Freeman. in last night's ball game. And the pitch. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder Brian Goodwin late that time for a strike and he watches a called strike at the knees no balls and two strikes time to take a look at the umpires in this one behind the plate is Mike Fillmore hey d -Roll, Mike Fillmore one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Gregory Polanco comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. It. The catcher. Jake Wheels and Ball. deals. Here's the first pitch. This is lined to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So a two-out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down. But the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah. yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. A count of one and one to the Pirates' first baseman. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Come set, now the pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. 
But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion. Now at the plate, here is Ronald Acuna. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's one for three. Ronald Acuna. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. The throw into second. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Batting fifth. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. The relay. And the run will score as the Braves strike first to lead it 1 0. And he is out, retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. At the plate, Alex Jackson popped up. Moran trying to get there. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Comes set and the 0-1. Now a ball lined towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone. And he paid for it right there. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the... Ready to deliver. Here comes Adam. the first pitch. Adam Frazier is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Two and two to Adam Frazier. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner reaches anyway. Now the first pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Up next to the so fire. stepping in is the Kevin Newman ball. trying here to Kevin plate the tying Newman. run from Newman. second. A weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Frazier, the runner at second with one away. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The bat. Digging in will be Eric Four. Gonzalez. The base Eric. knock to the outfield Good could ball. score the tying run from second. 0-1 the count. Ready with the 0-1. 1-1. Oh. One Hard ground ball to third. Reined in. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. So no runs on no hits, no error. We're just about set to go here as the Braves come to bat in the third inning, and this is an offense that's really been productive this year. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average, and talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was, but they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect W's. Guys? Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Hit to third. He's right there. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Batting done. No now pitcher. to the plate, the pitcher, Drew, Drew Smiley. First offering on its way. 
A ball and no strikes. For the current campaign, Smiley is exactly a 350 hitter. Doesn't matter what context you're talking about, that's an impressive number. Matty, great matchup right here. He's been absolutely hammering right-handed pitching all season long. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the Second middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This is popped up, and this is going to be a foul ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now at the plate, Johan Camargo. Oh, for one stop. for him here in this Johan. one. Camargo. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, what a play! And give it up on a phenomenal play. To all set for the start of the fourth and set to go as the third baseman Key Brian Hayes and he catches the inside corner for a cold strike nothing in one. Now oh, this is hit high and deep out to left back goes Ozuna to the track on the warning track he makes the catch. Now back. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup Brian. batter. Brian Goodwin comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Way late on the fastball for strike one. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Hard on the ground towards short. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. So two out nobody on and the left handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next and he takes ball one bases are empty here with two men out fastball at 96 on the radar gun and it's one and one hey make no mistake about it this lineup is going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive this guy's pounded the zone throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Now that. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that's going to land foul. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Pache will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And now here is Freddie Freeman set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The first baseman. Now here's the first offering. Freeman. Swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. A swing and a ground ball to third, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here comes the one two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Ready with another 2 2. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Acuna digs in now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. And that's the second out. Now to bat, Marcelo Zuna. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, and he wound up getting thrown out. But he hit the ball well, and he'll look to do the same thing again right here, boys. It was unfortunate for him and the team the way that play ended, but it was a nice swing. 
The 0 1 pitch. And this is lined hard to deep left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Pirates. And now the first pitch. Colin Moran is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1 and 0. Pulled toward right center field. Acuna is there for it. One away. So here's Adam Frazier struck out in his first at bat. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this now AB. The pit. So next to hit is Mitch Keller. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Freeman might try to make a play on it. Two out nobody on. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Two balls and two strikes now. Outside and a full count, three and two. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's some. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, Alex Jackson. He's the set and the pitch. The 0 1 pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he triples up on it right here. He's got back to back out in front swings on this guy. Let's see if he bounces one right in front of the plate. Newman brings it in, and there's one down now. now the next to bat for Atlanta, Austin Riley. First pitch coming, here it is. On the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And quickly there are two away. Now, now to the plate here right is here. Christian Pache. Grounded out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A great running play. Now with the plate is Kevin Newman. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. Swinging a looper to left. Coming on is Ozuna. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And it's a good start to the inning for the Bucks. It's a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat. And this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far. Yeah, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Yeah. Keep Ryan Hayes stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. Oh, it's one and zero. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, -oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Freeman's got it, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now that. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Grounded to the right. And it's a base hit as they finally break through here to tie the ball game at one. 
Hey, we're in the middle of this one already, d -Row. They finally score a run, and they've had a tough time scoring some runs. Yeah, after taking it on the chin yesterday, it's nice to finally break through. Maybe this gives them. There's a swing, and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. A ball of no strikes. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all. But we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's now three to one Pittsburgh. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, Drew Smiley. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Again, another foul ball. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The one-two. Bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. And there's one away. Now back. That's so amazing. up steps Ozzy Albies. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On to first, and there were two down. And the next in is Johan Camargo. Over two from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. From the stretch. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. High and deep to center field. Looking up is Goodwin. And that one is gone! Two-run blast off the bat of Freddie Freeman, number 249 career. And the Braves have drawn even now. It's 3-3. Three to three. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Polanco. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Braves able to tie things up on this home run. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Colin Moran. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. 
pulls this one into the air out into right field. Pache is there and he makes the catch for the out. Next up, Adam Frazier flew out last time up. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Michael Your Perez will get the call here this as he'll hit for the pitcher. pitcher. Number five. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Swing and a line drive. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses one and two now. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Here's another one, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3 2 one more time. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, Ladies and that and it. Chris Stratton gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 46. And now in the box, Marcelo Zuna. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Goodwin. One down. Now Digging in next, Jackson. Alex Jackson. He's working on a one for two yeah. game so far. Line to the right side, but good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Now batting. Next, Third it'll base. be Austin Riley. Austin. He bounced out last time up. Riley. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Frazier finds some space out there for the catch to return. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go he is the second the baseman, Kevin the Newman. Baseman. This Kevin. one's down to third. Mm. And the throw goes right over the head of Freeman at first. Man, this one is hard to figure. The bat, Makes the play on the two. ball, and the transfer look good. And he just sails this good thing ball. way over the first baseman's head into the stands. Bad news, it's an E5. The good news, some fan just snagged the souvenir. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And an unproductive at bat that time as the runner holds at second with one away now. Runner is second, one away, and up next is Key Brian Hayes. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. Camargo's got it, and boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. And I think the question becomes how much longer are they going to stick with this starter? Fatigue could very well become a factor at some point. Yeah, that's always a tough question to answer for a manager, especially when your guy's still pitching with him. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play. To Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up next will be Christian Pache. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Liner towards second. And there's your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as soft. Pinch hitting for the break. Number 22, Jason. Chip hit. Of 
it's strike one. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Pitch popped up. Hayes is under it, no problem, one away. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzy. Ozzy. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ozzy Albies is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's one for three. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. and a throw back to second and he just manages to get his hand in. A 1 1 home. Runners on his way to third. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is popped up near second base. Gonzalez is there. Two down. So a runner at second, now, two down now. And up next, the Johan. utility man, Johan Camargo. Camargo. Now here's the first offering. In there, and it's 0-1. And, Sent on the ground out to second. Newman fields it cleanly. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game. Chris Martin will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. First offering on its way. Gregory Polanco is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Swing and a miss on the sinker, a ball and a strike. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Next, here is Jacob Stallings. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's a slider that's inside, 1 0. Oh. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The first baseman, number 19, Colin. To the plate Moran. now, Colin Moran. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Lifted the other way to left center. Ozuna gets under it and makes the catch to. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning. Freeman. up and a 1 0 pitch liner toward right center and he is going to have extra bases to start it out and your winning run will be in scoring position and just like that the winning run is into second base the with a lead off double so here is Ronald Acuna lifetime against this pitcher he's hitless in three at bats gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one this has to be a productive at bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now the 0 2 pitch. 
Well, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball, you've got to throw him another one. That was better recognition there. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Very weakly on the ground. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a shot toward right center. And this is down. And that should do it. Freeman heads for the plate. And they're going to walk off with a 4-3 victory. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish.